always good to see if this stuff works um, in advance before you actually start running the program, just because you could have everything set up and then it won't run. Um, but we're good in that way, right? So uh, in in matrices, right, where, you, where you're dealing with matrix uh, algebra or really whatever, um, you want to remember that a matrix is just an array of arrays. Uh, so when you start grouping arrays together, you actually get a matrix. Um, and the idea here is that when you scale a matrix, you're actually just multiplying it by a constant. So you could do this in two ways, right? You could take the you could take the constant and you could multiply each row um, by that constant. So at every single element in every single array of the array of rays will essentially be multiplied by that constant. So if I had my first row as five, four, three, my second row as three, four, five, if I chose to introduce an arbitrary constant as seven, let's say, and scale uh, the first row, I would essentially be multiplying um, seven by each element. And then I would, in, in effect, I would produce a new um, matrix. Um, so you could define, um, so really the simple way you want to think about it is if you're taking a constant and you're multiplying each element within a particular chosen row or all rows, and that is in effect scaling a vector, scaling it by a factor, the one that you introduced. Um, you could call this, you know, uh, adjusting your matrix or something that has the word scale in it so that it's clear that you're trying to scale a matrix, um, you know, in the mathematical sense that they mean when, when you scale something, you're multiplying by a constant. And of course, you're going to have to have, you're going to give the user the ability to enter in the matrix that they want to scale. And then, of course, if they want to choose a row, um, now I'm not sure if that's part of the directions, but I'll, I'll take a look. Um, because if you don't have to choose a row, then that's fine. Uh, so an arbitrary row. So you have to choose a row. Um, so you 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 get you get the matrix, you get the row, uh, and then by what factor do you want to scale the matrix by, right? So that must also be an option. Um, and so the core logic here is you essentially just go to your chosen row. Um, you go to your chosen row, and you essentially say, okay, look, uh, for every this is this is essentially going to give you an array, right? Because you have to remember that you know in in a traditional array. Um, like two, three, four, and five. Um, you you, you kind of notice here that every element in this array is an integer. But then uh, sometimes you might have uh, an array of arrays, right? Where every element in this uh, array is another array. So when I reference, and let's say this is called, this, 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 this uh, array of arrays is called X. When I reference X as X of zero, right? Or X of one, I'm actually getting arrays in return. I'm not getting individual integers, right? So when you do matrix of a chosen row, you're going to the matrix, which in itself contains arrays of arrays, and you are choosing um, a row, and that row is an array. So when you say matrix of chosen row, you're referring to an array within the matrix. Um, now, this is sort of, sort of a shorthand here in, in Python that we can do this, that um, you can treat every single element uh, in that row and you can give it a name. I, I gave it element. And what I want to do is I want to take that element and I want to multiply it by the factor. Remember, scaling is taking something and multiplying it by a factor. I want to essentially multiply it by the factor for every element in that matrix of chosen row. Remember, matrix of chosen row is an array. So I'm coming up, I'm basically redefining. I'm saying, hey, that matrix of chosen row will not be what it was before. It will instead be the element times the factor for every element in that chosen row. And that's partly why Python is so um, so beautiful in that it can take pseudocode and actually make it seem um, uh, like, like it's working um, in the way that we think uh, programmatically, which it does. Um, and then you just return the matrix, right? So you just say return matrix. Um, and then, of course, you could test this out, right? So you could say, uh, you know, my matrix, uh, and then you can define what you think your matrix could be. And remember, it's 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 a mate. It, it is in it is in some sense a array of arrays. So uh, my first array might be one, two, one, two, three. Um, my second, uh, you know, my second array might be, you know, again, we'll just do whatever we're getting here. 
um, 4, 8, 9. So it's my matrix, right? Um, now, basically, I want to say that this, this my matrix guy should now equal, what, what, what will I do? I'll call the adjusted matrix scale function, which turns a return, which returns a matrix. And I'm going to essentially say, or you know what, just to make this less confusing, um, the answer matrix, right? This is, this is the answer. The answer matrix will essentially be calling the adjust matrix scale function. And you pass in the matrix that you want, which was my matrix. Remember, this is the matrix that we want to scale. Um, uh, my matrix. And then the chosen row. So as far as uh, normal arrays are concerned, we know that if we have, you know, one, two, three, one, two, four, or just an array of elements, the indices of this start as zero, one, two, right? The same is true for a matrix. Uh, if you have a, an array of arrays in a matrix, zero, one, two. 0, 1, 2. So your, your chosen row might very well be 0, right? Um, and, and in that case, you're choosing to essentially scale this row by what? By a factor, by, let's say, 5. Um, and then, of course, let's print the answer matrix to see that this worked. So you see that I chose the first row. And for each element in that row, I multiplied it by 5. It was 1, 2, 4. Now it's 5, 10, 20. But of course, we have to give uh, the user the option, right? So um, I believe in Python, the way that this works is you can say, okay, well, you know, the um, the chosen row, let's say the chosen row is equal to input. And then, you know, uh, enter in, enter in your, the row, right? The row you want to scale. And then, of course, you could uh, the factor by which you want to do that, right? So um, enter the. Sometimes you'll hear this at called a uh, scale factor or scale constant, right? Um, and then instead of hard coding zero here, right? I'll just say chosen row instead. And instead of saying factor, I'll say, um, oh well, that would actually instead of saying uh, what did I have here before? I had I had a hard coded five, right? I don't want it to always be five. I want the user to be able to tell me what it should be. And so, um, so I'll just say factor, right? And then now I kind of have a little bit more um, ability. Now I might run into a bit of a, a bit of a problem here just because I know Python deals a little bit differently with data types, but enter the row you want to scale. Um, or you know what? It might even be better to say, okay, hey, this is... Um, print the adjusted matrix, right? And just say, well, not print the ad adjusted matrix, but say print the um, print the matrix that you have, right? And just tell them that, hey, this is, um, you know, this is your matrix, right? This is your, this is your, well, uh, there was a little bit of a suggestion there that I think was a bit better, but this is your matrix, right? And then just, you know, kind of ask them like, hey, uh, you know, what, what do you, this is your matrix. You have a, an array of arrays here. Enter in the row you want to scale. So I could, I could, let's say, do this one, right? So um, this one, this one, this one, right? Um, and then uh, I'll, I'll say I want to I wanna do the second one. Now, the second one is 0, 1, right? So I'll say 1 here. And what what scaling factor, right? So the scaling factor would probably, let's say, 3. So I should expect a new matrix where the second row is 5 times 3, which is 15, 6 times 3, which is 18, um, 7 times 3, which is 21. Uh, enter the, yeah, so that's what I said, right? Um, it might see that, that is the issue with Python is the way that it deals with, um, deals with types. I think I have to take this and typecast it. Hmm. List indices must be integers or slices. Uh, I think I need to typecast it to an int, actually. Obviously. Because input, whatever you input here will return a string, right? And then you have to typecast it to an integer because that's that's the, the nuances of it, right? So uh, let's say four. Oh, that's not going to work, right? 
we'll deal with that too. Um, let's say, you know, the first row, which is one, two, four, I want to scale it by three. And then I get, you know, I, I do get it scaled by three. And, but you kind of notice a bit of a problem here, right? Because like I could have a matrix and, you know, the indices might not um, come up as well, right? So zero, one, two are my only indices. And yet I could put in a four here and then run into a problem, right? I could say, you know, I want I want to scale the fourth row and there is no fourth row, um, you know, and and um, I could enter this and, and then I'll get a problem. So what you need to do is you need to go back into your, uh, you need to go back into your, your your function for um for creating uh you basically need to make sure that the chosen row is within bounds um now zero if you have a matrix you're always going to have at least one row even an empty matrix it has at least one row um so basically uh you can you can have so you it's you, the the chosen row should be on the bounds it should at least be zero um but then uh what should be what should the upper bound be right so um you know for this one uh, i have three arrays um zero one two so the maximum length of the array is one minus or the length of the array minus one so i don't so basically i could say okay well the length of the matrix um i'm not going to say e equal to the length of the matrix just one before because i know that you know, if I have three arrays in a matrix, it's zero, one, two. I don't want to do zero, one, three, right? Because the length of the matrix is three, but the indices are two. So I want to be one off, right? Um, so if this is if this is not the case, then it's a problem. If this is not the case, then it's a problem. And um, I'll just, you know, print out an error message, right? No. error chosen row was and then i'll I, I, I sh you just return nothing right so in, in python that's just none uh what's the problem here oh right so again i can i can i can choose four now right and i can enter the scaling factor and it'll tell me that I can't actually do that, right? That's beyond bounds. Um, so I so maybe I don't want to return none. Yeah, so I do have to return none in that case. Because you have to understand that by definition, functions have to return things. And, um, you know, uh, um, if this if this happens and you actually don't ever end up returning anything and so then you you defy what a function should be so to make it short and simple i mean this is this is really the code here and uh yeah so moving on write a function in python that returns a matrix with an arbitrary row added to an arbitrary scalar multiple of the second arbitrary row all the user's choice um so again that's just a lot of um confusing um text uh but what's the idea right uh, so you're writing a function. Sure, I, we know how to do that. We just use our def keyword and we incorporate logic. Uh, in Python, we know some. Uh, we're going to return a matrix. So it's already kind of telling us uh, what it wants the end result to be. Um, and the idea is that you get to specify an arbitrary, an arbitrary row. I don't like when people say arbitrary. I think random, right? Um, they get to specify an arbitrary row, a random row. And then they get to say, okay, well, of that row, that row that you have, and an array of arrays, there there are rows which are in fact arrays, and you can choose any one of those arrays. You can, in other words, you can choose any row, and the idea is that row will um will essentially be added to an arbitrary scalar multiple of a second arbitrary row. So you're taking another row and you're scaling it in the same way we did last time. Um, and then you're adding it to the row you want to update. Now that that might not make a lot of sense, but I've I've illustrated an example here. So suppose we have uh, a matrix called X, right? And again, I say this all the time: a matrix is an array of arrays. Uh, in this case, it is an array of three arrays. Um, and you'll see commas syntactically. I'm writing a little loose here. Um, now suppose we said that the row that we want to update, and again, we know that the how these are 
indexed, right? Zero, one, two. Suppose that the row that we want to update is zero, right? Um, and then the the row to scale uh, is two, right? Um, and the scalar, in other words, the factor by by which you scale is two, by which you multiply is two. So I'm essentially going to generate another array here, right? Where I'm updating this first row. I'm updating this first row. And the elements of that row, X, Y, Z, will be the addition. It will be the addition of this row scaled by two. In other words, 14, eight times two, 24, uh, eight times two, 16, right? Uh, nine times two, uh, 18. So I scaled this second row and now I have to add it to this row. So 14 plus one, 17, 16 plus two, 18, 18 plus three, 21. So that's essentially the idea, right? Uh, and, and we kind of see this here. This is our end product, right? So again, just to recap that, um, the row that we want to update is this row. The row that we want to scale is this row. And the factor by which we want to scale the row we want to scale is two. In other words, we multiply each element by two, seven times two, 14, eight times two, 16, nine times two, 18. And then we, we take that array that we just scaled of an arbitrary row, and we essentially add it to the row that we have in the first place, and we update it. So that's essentially the, lo the logic here. We're going to move into the programming, uh, but just keep those steps in mind, right? Keep those steps in mind that we're what we're more than likely going to have to do here is we are going to have to um, create the row first, scale it. We're going to copy the row, scale it, and then um, go back to that first row and then add them together and then replace. And we'll see how that's done. So I've already kind of done the preliminary work for us here, right? Um, we essentially um, we have this matrix example, right? And it's one, uh, you know, it's the same example that I just used. And the row we want to update is this one, and the row we want to scale is zero, one, two, this one, right? And the scalar by which we scale is two. So that's the, again, the scalar is the one you multiply each element to, right? Um, and then I'm going to call a function called the updated matrix, and that updated matrix will will let me take. Uh, a matrix in, the row it needs to update, the row it wants to scale by, and the scalar. And then eventually it will produce. Um, so this is like, oh, this is my answer matrix, right? I think this is better to say this is my answer matrix, right? I'm going to take my, my answer matrix will in fact be um, the updated matrix. I'm going to call um, that function that updates matrix matrices for me. I'm going to pass in, um, you know, uh, a matrix. I'm going to pass in the row to update. I'm going to pass in the row to scale. I'm going to pass in the scalar, and then it'll do it. Um, and then for each row in that answer matrix, because I want to print it out, right? I want to print it out now. Um, so for each row in that answer matrix, I'm going to print out the row. This is actually how you print out um, a matrix, right? So for each row in the um, in a particular, uh, I think the best parallel might be if we say, okay, well, you have an you have an array of x, and this is two, four, two, right? Um, and then you can say, well, for each element, um, you know, in this X matrix, right? Uh, for each element, not for each, just for the, you call it element. So, so for each element in this X matrix, uh, well, I want to print out the X matrix, right? And again, this, this might, um, this might give us a problem because again, when you print things, um, you know, Python has this weird nuance where, So for each element, let's see. So for each element in X, we print out the element. Actually, this might just work here. Oh. Uh, it's not it's not this as such. It's this because I haven't actually created the update matrix method yet. So let's go ahead and do that first. But hopefully you get the parallel, right? Um, kind of what we're doing with this. Uh, we're just doing it with arrays, right? Um, okay. So uh, what we'll do is we'll call our update uh, matrix um, idea here, and it's essentially it's gonna it's we want the def keyword, right? So 
def update matrix. And again, we 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 give it the matrix that we want, and we give it the row that we want to update, row uh, row to update. And then we also give it the row we want to scale, row uh, to scale. And then of course, by what are we going to scale it by, right? So, so a scalar, right? And so now we've sort of defined uh, a method for ourselves here. Um, and and again, we our first goal. Remember what our first goal was. It's to it's to first um, get. Uh, we want to. We know that we're going to have to scale a row. We're going to have to scale a row. And so we want to grab that row and scale it, right? Um, so I'm going to create a new array here um, called scaled row. This is going to be the scaled version of of seven, eight, nine, right? Um, and and the idea is it's going to be empty at first, but I'm going to iterate to 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 make it bigger. And you'll see what I'll make it bigger by. Um, so essentially, for for each element, right, in this in the matrix. I, I wanna I wanna perform an op for each element in uh for each element. So let's let's think about this a little bit systematically here. Uh I for each element in some array, what do I want this sum array to be? It should be the array of the matrix um that I want. So it should be so for some element in the matrix of the row that I want to scale. Okay row to scale. So you've effectively created an array here, right? And and this is the array that you're iterating through. Um, so for each element in of this matrix, right, the row to scale, they could have defined it as zero or one or, you know, whatever. In this case, it's, you know, I could say zero or whatever, whatever it is, we want to iterate through it. So for, for each element in the array that, that, that they want to scale, if if it were this one, it would have to be zero, one, two. They'd have to enter two in here. Um, we want to we want to do one thing. We basically want to um, just take that element and multiply it by the scalar, right? We want to take that element and multiply it by the scalar, right? So for each element in this row here, we want to take seven and multiply it by the scalar. We want to take eight and multiply it by the scalar. We want to take nine. We want to multiply it by the scalar, but we need to add it to the scaled row. So we do scaled row dot append in Python it is. And what do you append? Well, you're appending, taking that element and adding it to the scalar. And that's essentially what you do, right? Um, so by now, if I, you know, by now, this scaled row has this row with, it, the, but the scaled version, each element is multiplied by the scalar. Now, of course, my next step here is to take. I basically want to. I basically want to update. Well, a couple things, right? So, I definitely want to update um, the row that the user wants. It, it's referred to as by row to update, right? Um, so I need to go to. I need to have access to each element in the row that they want to update. And I want to do something to it again and again and again. What do I want to do? Um, I want to add those. I want to add this scaled row that I have by now to that row that they want to update, right? So doing something again and again and again is obviously just uh, you know, a for loop, right? And how how long, I mean, how many, how how many iterations should I iterate for? Um, only as many elements as there are. The length of this matrix, uh, or sorry, not the length of the matrix, but the length of the array within the matrix. And the length of the array within the matrix is three in this case, right? But as a generalization, it's the length of the matrix that I want to scale. Or not want uh, not the one I want to scale, but the one I want to update, right? Because remember, this is the row I want to update. So the length of the, I, I only want to iterate for as many times as um, I need to, which is just the length of the row that I want to scale. And um, so, so once you have that logic down, you can basically just say, okay, well, go to the matrix and then the row that you want to update, right? So matrix, row to update. So now you've, at, you, you've specified um, the row you want to update, right? Um, uh, and, this, and this is kind of what's happening here. So you have 
by by this point, right? You have the scaled matrix, right? The scaled matrix, um, the scaled matrix is you know seven times two, fourteen, and uh, you know fourteen and sixteen, and eight times two is eighteen, right? So that's that's the scaled matrix that you have in hand um, by this point. Um, and then you also have uh, so what do you want to do with this, right? You could say matrix row to update, right? I mean, what we what we really want to do is we want to add this to this, right? So we want to come up with finally an array that is um, that is essentially, that is essentially um, 14 added to this, which is 15, 16 added to 16 added to this, which is two, which is 18, right? And then 18 times three, which I think is 52, right? That's that's the that's what we want. Okay. Um, and so how do we do this? Well, we go to the row that we want to update, which is this one. And we go to the element in particular. In that case, it's going to be I. That element in particular, 0, 1, 2, right? Um, and then what we do here is we say, okay, well, we add the scaled row of I, right? And again, we're, we'll unpack that. Um, we go to the matrix. We, our, our goal is to essentially scale this row, which we've done. All the elements of that row are in scaled row. And then we go to the matrix, uh, which is here. And then we go to the row that we want to update, uh, which if it's zero, then it's you know this row. And then of that row, we go into a particular element, let's say zero, or if I is one, then two. If I is um, three, then, you know, um, or if I is two, then this element. Uh, and then we're adding it to the scaled row of I on a particular iteration. And so that, and that's how that, that works, right? And then, so we'll just say return, we'll return the matrix. And again, it, it, it wouldn't be, um, it, this is the matrix that we have, right? So we, we, we've essentially modified it by this point because we're saying, well, go to the row to update and take that element within that row and, and add it to the element of the scaled row and then do that progressively, right? Um, Right, and that's that's what essentially what you get. 